how to import and edit a screenplay tutorial, we briefly mentioned the script breakdown feature, but let's take a closer look at how we can generate an automated breakdown in Yamdu. So after we've imported a script, Yamdu will automatically recognize certain elements found in the script and generate a breakdown. So this means that things like the scene number, the setting, like whether the scene is taking place indoors, outdoors, during the day or night, as well as the characters, extras, the script page number, and the scene descriptions will be automatically broken down in Yamdu. And we're actually also able to edit them manually by hovering the mouse over and selecting the section we want to change. Now, clicking on an individual scene will open up the breakdown of that scene. And once again, we can see the elements that Yamdu has already automatically detected in the general information section. Here, we'll be able to edit the information further to complete our breakdown. So we can change the scene's number, display whether or not the scene has been omitted, change the environment, specify the point in time when the scene takes place, change the set or description, and we can even specify the script day. Now, there are certain details that we can change or specify as it relates to or is used by other departments. For instance, the number of script pages, scheduled duration to shoot the scene, and even the unit will be used by the production department for scheduling purposes. Whereas the number of shots in the scene could be used by the camera department. There's also a place to leave continuity or general notes about the scene. And scrolling down, we can see that there are department-specific fields where we can enter the elements found in the script. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We can either enter them manually per scene, or we can tag them in the script. So, for example, our lead character wears an old hat. And we can enter this element manually and add it to the costume department so that they're aware that the character will need an old hat for this scene. And we also know that there is an old map needed in this scene as well. So let's go ahead and add that element for the props department. Now, as we showed you before in the previous tutorial, you also have the option of entering elements by using Yamru's script tagging feature, which just really makes the scene breakdown a lot easier to handle. On the right hand side, we're able to see the various departments responsible for specific elements found in the script. And we can see that the old map has already been tagged as we just entered it manually. And we also see that the old hat is tagged under the costume department. But just to show you how easily this can be done in the script tagging feature, let's highlight the guard in the scene. Now, a drop-down menu will appear, giving us the option of choosing the department to which the element needs to be added to. And as already mentioned, we have the option of tagging all mentions of this element in the screenplay, meaning that the guard will automatically be tagged in every scene that they appear in. And Yandu actually allows us to leave notes for any respective department regarding the breakdown element or elements. For instance, we can leave a note for the casting department specifying that we need a large bodyguard as an extra. And lastly, we're also able to select the elements and add, edit, or gather their information. For example, we can assign or change their ID numbers, specify whether we want suggestions for the element, see what scenes they appear in, and add images, or even collect the day out of days. And this was a further look into Yamdu's breakdown feature. If you haven't already, check out our previous tutorial on how to import and edit a screenplay. Now, let's take a quick look at script sides. If you want to isolate a specific scene or scenes in the script for either the cast or crew, we can do so by creating script sides. We simply need to select Create Sides, and we'll be given the option of downloading the entire script, filtering it by shooting days, scenes, or even by characters. Then, we can select to filter by one scene, multiple scenes, or by a single character or even multiple characters. And 
And once we've selected our preferred mode of filtering and isolating the script, we'll have the option to show the tagged elements in the scene, create a custom watermark, start each new scene on a new page, and create sides without color text. Let's give our side a watermark specific to the cast member and start each new scene she's involved in on a new page. Then create and download our script side. Now, we can share the scene side involving just the scenes with our cast member. And that was a look at script breakdown and sides. We'll see you in the next video.